If you use Midjourney quite a lot, then you're going to need this new free Chrome extension. This extension is called Prompt a Lot and it looks like this. Now, what this is going to do is speed up your workflow and make you 10 times more efficient. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is just run through and show you how to use it. Now, quick side note, if you want to know how I'm currently making my colouring books, then I'm using my ultimate colouring page prompt generator. This is a bunch of information that we feed to ChatGPT4, and then we can ask it to create very highly detailed mid-journey prompts on almost anything. Now, if you want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description below. This is the free Chrome extension just here. It's called Prompt a Lot Helper. Now, what I'm going to do is link this down in the description so you can come through and check it out. Now, I recently found out about this tool because it was released by another YouTuber by the name of Christian at Tokenized AI. He recently released a video all about it. It was this video just here. Now, I highly suggest going through and watching that video as well, because it's going to be a longer version of what I'm about to share with you, but I will link that down in the description as well. Now, once you have this Chrome extension installed, it's going to show up just here. Now, you can actually turn this on and off by this button just here, like so but this tool is just going to really speed up your workflow and make you 10 times more efficient. Now, why is that? Well, it has a lot of cool features where you can copy certain parts of this prompt along with the, the URL, the prompt, parameters, and all of that cool stuff. Now, with me personally, when I'm making coloring pages or coloring books, I make lots of variations which means I have to click on the image a lot. I then have to copy the address of that so I can plug that in here and then use that as a reference. Then I have to go through finding the prompts that I want, taking them, copying them like so, and then plug that in. Now that's not too much of a problem, but it can take some time when I'm creating my coloring books. Now with this new feature or this free plugin, should I say, it just saves so much time. So let me share with you exactly what this does. Now, first thing to note is the most important part of this extension just here is this top part where it says prompt. The prompt lot at the bottom isn't as important, but later on in the video, I will go through that as well. Now, right here, this button allows you to copy the entire prompt of any one that you want. Now, as we can see, if we scroll up, we have this Chrome extension under every image. So now if I click on there and then go to prompt, click in paste, which is command V, I'm then going to get that entire prompt, including the reference image. Now let's take that out, go back down. This one is a pens. So this feature is actually really cool and this is actually saving me so much time at the minute because what this essentially does is allows you to copy two separate things to your clipboard. Now with me, I use a lot of my own reference images. So now what I can do is find the image. I can then click on this button just here, which is going to copy the URL of that image. So let's click on that. Then I can scroll through, find the prompt what I want to use. Let's go with this one. Then I can use that append button and it's going to copy the prompt to the URL of the image which I just copied. So now if I click that, then go into here and click paste, we now have the URL of that reference image along with this prompt. Now again, this is one of the main reasons why I absolutely love this tool. It just saves so much time. Now the next one is the image. So what this is going to do, if there's a URL which you've been using in your prompt, it will then just copy that URL. So if we click on here, now click onto here, click paste, we can see we have that URL just there. Now, this button just here is only going to copy the text. So it's not going to copy the URL. It's not going to copy the parameters. Now, if we click it, let's click there, click paste, we can see we only have the text of said prompt. Now, the next one just here copies all of the parameters. So if we click on here, it's going to copy 
my aspect ratio and the model, I believe. So now if we click on there, we can see it's copied the parameters. Now the next button just here would copy the seed. So if I had a seed number in this prompt just here, I could click on this button and then it would copy it. But because I don't have the seed in here, it's not going to copy that at all. Now the next button just here copies the job ID of a prompt. So if I click on there and then click in paste, we can see we have the job ID as well. Then right here, we have the option to copy the link URL of any image at one click. I absolutely love this. I mentioned that before because now again, I can just come in, take the link. I can then go to append and then I can go here. Then I have the image URL as a reference and then the prompt as well, which is just saving so much time. Then from here, you get to prepend one of the image links that you copied before. Very useful part of the tool as well. Then this one just here is a one click image opener. So instead of going on to here, going to open image, um, following those steps, we can now just click on here and it opens it straight away into a new tab. Then this one just here will also allow you to download at one click as well. So if we click on here, we then have the download image instead of clicking, right clicking and saving image. So again, this is a very, very useful tool and I'm absolutely loving it. And that's all of the useful information that you're going to need. Just this top part will really speed up your process creation. Now the second part down here is because there's also a website which goes along with this tool. It is just here. Now what you can actually do with this is save all your prompts. Now this isn't something that I've been doing personally, so I'm not going to get into that, but I'll quickly run through all of this as well. Now if we click on this button just here, it's going to copy everything just here into the website where you can save that prompt. So if we click on here, it auto fills absolutely everything. As we can see, we have the prompt, we have the application, which is Midjourney version 5.2, the image URL and tags. Now with these tags, you can actually play around with them, add your own as well. And then right here, if you're going to use this, you're going to want to make private, so make sure to click that. Then once you save, if you come up to your profile just here, it's going to be in my prompts. Now you do need to sign up to have a free account to do this, but I do think this is going to be a really great tool over time as he has plans on developing it even more. Now, if we come back over to here, right here, you can open your collection of prompts within the prompt a lot website right here opens the features page for prompt a lot as well, where you can request features and upvote them as well. Then we can actually use this tool just here which is going to open the mid journey stats, which is also created by Christian over at tokenized AI. This is just a pretty cool tool It's going to show you the best times to use relax mode on all of the different models. So if you don't know about that, come through and check that out as well. Then right here, it's going to pull those stats over from that website and tell you that information as well. I also believe that these stats are updated every three minutes. So at the current time of creating this video, it's roughly taking 116 seconds for version five slow generations, 16.3 seconds for NEG5, and 190 seconds for V4. Now we also have a couple of buttons here as well. Right here, this one is going to retrieve a job from the mid journey bot. This one just here is going to upscale all images as well. So if I had four images just here, clicked upscale, it's going to upscale all of them. So as you can see, this is an amazing tool. I've been using this a lot over the last four days and it's really sped up my creation. Again, the main reason is because now I can just copy prompts with one click instead of going in and copying and pasting. And I can also copy the URL of any image that I'm using in one click as well. And then I can append them together to make my prompts. So again, come through, try this out. There is going to be a link down in the description below. And I also recommend going through and watching Christian's video as well.
Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. And to watch more of my AI videos, click right here and watch this playlist.